alive, boy, they guns are dumb, Bella nigga Tired of telling niggas that's a cease, rest in peace We tired of only having just a piece And fuck policing, they killing niggas, what's the reason? His daughter starving and she fucking freezing So no wonder why he fucking squeezing They out here busting, leaving niggas stuck and bleeding on the floor Bullets wet you like your semen on a hoe Breathing slow, man, I'm in hell One day you trying to make the rent, next day you in jail Lord knows he meant well, so I take the pencil and write like a pen pal Some shit that's darker than a tense up on a windshield uh, Welcome to Sinville, when niggas on base Shit is looking like an infield, how's a sprint bill? What you think, that's the reason why this ink in my pen kids uh. Phony niggas till they are extinct, bitch I been real uh. Alright, yo, yo, yo Nah, nah, we ain't gonna start like that Alright, welcome to another episode of The Problem and the Solution, man. Uh, mad shit going on right now. Like, a couple days ago when I was thinking about what I was going to record and talk about. I mean, it wasn't going to be this shit, but I guess you could say I'm kind of glad. Because it definitely gives me something more to talk about than just potential sports coming back. You know, the whole versus things. You know, people doing Instagram with the music. Um, I wouldn't want to come in here and talk about the rappers, singers, boxing and shit. With the, you know, I, was, I wasn't going to come here and talk about none of that, man. Um, Got to talk about George Floyd and Breonna Taylor. Um the two most recent black people being murdered by police officers. Uh, it's somber, man. Like, I don't, I don't like talking about this shit. You feel me? Like, I don't like, I don't like watching this shit. You feel me? Um, you know, when the whole, when the George Floyd, when they, when that footage came out, and, you know, you just read the caption, police officer, like, kills man, like, knee on his neck. I'm like, what the fuck? Like, I don't want to watch this shit, bro. Like, this is what people talking about. Like, this is the video y'all watch. Eventually watched it. I think one of the more original clips of it was, like, two minutes or whatever. But when the video starts, he already has his knee on George Floyd's neck. He's just there with his like just with his knee on this dude's neck in the middle of the street bro and it's like three other police officers around people can't really intervene yet people recording and like telling hey like get off his neck his fiance is there and shit but he's not bro's not budging bro he got his hands in his pockets he's like smirking and you can tell by like his posture like he ain't pressing down but he's just letting his body weight kind of like be dead and just there on this dude's neck, bro. Like, he he couldn't breathe. He was saying he couldn't breathe. Like, his stomach was hurting. Like, you know what I'm saying? His chest was hurting. Like, he was, he was telling him I was dying. And this is the crazy part. I just found out today that, bro, he was kneeling, kneeling on his n- Kneeling, I don't even want to call it kneeling. He was kneeing this dude in his neck for nine minutes. Nine minutes, bro. Like, do you know how determined you got to be to do something for nine straight minutes? Like you feel like that, that 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 that's a commitment. That's a commitment. That's that's at some point that goes from murder to pre premeditated. It's almost like he knew from that moment when he had George, when he got George down on the ground, he knew once he first got him on the ground, boom, I put my knee on his neck. I'm sitting here till he dies. I'm sitting here until he dies. If George, if George would have had enough air in his body to live for the next six or seven minutes, 
That cop would have sat there for the next six or seven minutes with his knee on his neck, bro. That shit is sick. You know, at first I was just like, damn, he, he did it, you know. Maybe like three, four minutes, which that shit's still excessive. But when I say nine minutes, bro, you had ample amount of time, ample amount of opportunities to stop. You could have stopped at eight minutes and 20 seconds. George Floyd would still be here, bro. But you was determined to kill this black man. And people were recording you, so you knew people were going to see it, bro. Like, you're watching. You're looking at the camera. You're looking at the people. And you just like, I'm good. I'm chilling. I'm comfortable. It's a nice neck you got here, George. Mind if I kneel on it? Like, the fuck? Then you got the other police, the three, other three or four police officers around. They not doing it. They just, they, they circling around you, making sure nobody fuck. It was like, bro, like, that shit was... Like y'all came there to kill that man, bro. Like, and and so I, 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 me personally, I understand the outrage that the black community across the nation is is, is feeling right now, and especially up in Minneapolis. You had a Philando Castle, uh, Castle situation. What was that in two thousand sixteen, seventeen? I don't quite remember, but a few years ago that happened up there. I think it was St. Paul. I mean, it's 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 still pain for that area. You feel me? Then this cop, he's had other incidents, and I think they said he shot somebody last year. Like it's it's like it's a lot of emotion up there in Minneapolis right now. So I understand it boiling over and it escalating to going from a peaceful type protest. I didn't say a peaceful protest, but they were protesting, and it escalated to. Total mayhem, buildings burning, they burned down a target, burned down uh, one of the precincts up there. Like, they got the cops, they were surrounding the uh, the murderer's house, like, protecting. Like, it, it was a lot of pandemonium and mayhem when this shit started up there in Minneapolis. And I completely understand with what's going on. Like, I, I get it. Like, it's 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 raw emotion. Like, the, the, the this pictures and the scenes... You know, and the, and the you know the testimonials that have been coming out of Minneapolis for the past few days, like that shit, that shit's rocking to the core. Like you, like damn, bro. Like I, I, I feel that. Like I'm. It makes me angry. It makes me sad. Like I don't. It's almost like we don't know how to how to react, and it's just an an immense amount of emotion just just boiling over right now for the entire nation. Um, but it started in Minneapolis with George Floyd, trickled down, and Louisville kind of fed off that energy in that situation, and it started to have a snowball effect. But once that, um, the 911 phone call from the Breonna Taylor murder that happened about two, three weeks ago, um, she was at home in her apartment, and the police busted in. I guess they were looking for her boyfriend, and they just shot her. They killed her. You know, her boyfriend made a 911 call. And see, the thing is, like, it's hard for me to talk about this type of stuff because not only do I hate it, but I hate reading the stories and, and watching the videos and goddamn, like, listening to the audio. Bro. So, like, I know what that the 911 call came out from the boyfriend. But I have no idea what he said on that call because, bro, I don't want to listen to that shit, bro. That's trauma, bro. Like, it's I'm I'm the type like I don't I'm cool off the trauma shit, bro. Like I'm I'm real big on like I don't I don't fuck with slave movies. I don't fuck with movies where like black police. I don't TV shows. I don't fuck with none of that shit, bro. Cause that shit that's just trauma. Like, why would I want to entertain trauma, bro? I'm good. Like, so I see the headlines. I see bits and pieces of you know the articles and the stories, and that's all I need. And the main thing, like, you killed another black individual for no reason. I don't care what happened before the cops got there. I don't care what happened after the cops got there or after they killed the person because you killed the person. So whatever you say 
I don't say the fact of the matter is that you kill somebody in cold blood for no another unarmed black person for no reason in cold blood. I don't entertain that shit, bro. I can't entertain it. It's it. It sucks. I don't like seeing it. I don't like reading it. I don't like hearing it. So I try to avoid it as much as I can. I take what I need to take. You know what I'm saying? I, I take what 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 comes across. You know, on social media. You know what I'm saying? Word of mouth here and there. But I don't look for it. Like if I can avoid it, I'm avoiding it. You feel me? Because that's that's trauma, and I, I I'm I'm good off that shit. You feel me? But when that audio came out, the city went up. The city went up, man. Um, tonight was 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 day two of the protest. Um, like I said, I'm not I, I'm 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 not down there. You feel me? I'm up here in Lexington, but I'm I'm not I'm not in the city. Um, I'm not down there protesting and everything, so I don't know what's going on. As far as who's doing what, um, if the protesters are the initiators or if the police are the initiators or, you know, what, what, whatever, whatever. Like, like this is this is a situation where whatever, because it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter because anything and everything that the protesters are doing. And I'm calling them protesters because that's 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 what they are. You feel me? Like they're, they're don't don't get me wrong. There's looting, there's rioting, but at the end of the day, deep down inside, they're protesters. Because and I'm giving them the benefit of that doubt because this is some stuff that has been going on for decades before many of them were even born. This is stuff that their parents, 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 parents were dealing with. You dig what I'm saying? And it's gotten to the point to where the 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 level of patience and being so fed up is gone out the window. You know that whole saying where people are like, uh, um. They got the shirt where it says, where it says, uh, I'm not my ancestors or, you know what I'm saying? Some bullshit like that. It's, it's gotten to that point. Like people don't want to do the rally shit no more. People don't want to do the, you know what I'm saying? The kumbayas and the hold hands no more. Not nah, people want to get active. And don't get me wrong. You got a lot of people out here. You got a lot of clout demons out here. A lot of people out here that are just doing shit. Oh, you know, they mace me. They they tear gas me. They shot me with the paintballs, and I'm I'm they gonna po- like they want to post a picture. They want to document. That's cool. Don't get me wrong. Stuff has to be documented. But there's a lot of people out here who are doing shit for the cloud, doing shit to be seen. Um, like I said, day one was definitely more protests esque. You feel what I'm saying? They had the incident. You know what I'm saying? Where the cops start shooting out the rubber bullets. Seven people got shot. I think two had to go into surgery. They're saying that they don't know who shot the seven people, but the people that were there, the protesters, they're saying that the cops are the ones who shot the seven people. It was not protester on protester violence. It was another incident of cop, not cop, but police brutality and police being violent towards innocent, unarmed people that they are supposed to protect and serve in the community. So, um, that was pretty much day one. Uh, day two comes and it seemed like it was probably, I don't want to say a bigger crowd, but it was more people on my timeline that I saw that weren't out there day one were out there day two. So odds are it was probably a bigger, it was probably a bigger turnout for say. Uh, but yeah, from, from what I saw early on, it was... You know, they were just trying to voice their opinions, you know, and their, and their, and their, you know, their, you know, how much they were upset, you know, with everything going on with Breonna Taylor. And because the cops still, the, the cops that shot her have not been charged or, or anything yet. Like, you know what I'm saying? Supposedly the cop 
who killed George Floyd. He's been charged with, I think, third degree murder or some shit. Not really too familiar about the degrees, you know, the first, second, third. But he was charged with third degree murder. So I'll let y'all let me know if that's good or bad or whatever. But he has been taken into custody, custody, supposedly. The cops who shot Breonna Taylor, nothing. Um, even when the audio comes out, came out the other day, nothing. Like, the mayor hasn't done anything, you dig? And uh, so people are fed up. But tonight got a little quick, got got a little crazy out there. Got it got real, 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 uh, real wicked. You had people started to break into businesses. Um, I don't really see too many people burning businesses out here, but they broke into business. A lot of broken glass. Um, I think they destroyed a news car. Uh, I seen a cameraman got knocked out, I, I believe. Uh, yeah, people just breaking into places, taking what they want, looting. Uh, I mean, <laughs> I mean, it, it's it's it, it's almost like I, I can't I can't blame them because it's like if that's your way of expressing your anger. But uh, I don't think that's. That's effective in the long run. Um, Killer Mike was saying, you know, to the protesters and the people down there in Atlanta to to not destroy. Don't burn down your own home with with because you're upset about, you know, something else. You know what I'm saying? Like, don't like don't burn down your shit because you're upset at them. Like. That's not how you do it. Like that's not how you like that's how that's not how you make the proper changes and the proper adjustments. Like there has to be a plan. There has to be like there has to be a format. Like you have to get together, formulate a plan, and then move in that direction. You can't just have all this energy going in different directions because right now, if this continues, you're gonna have people who are there to protest. You're going to have people who are coming out there literally to just fuck shit up. Like they don't want to they don't want to talk to nobody except for yell fuck 12 and fuck the police and all that, all that shit. And then, and, and, and just vandalize whatever they can break windows, fuck up cars, spray paint shit, do a whole bunch of shit, burn flags, whatever they do. And then you got the people who are coming out there to loot people who are taking advantage of, oh, I can steal from these stores and car lots and all this type of shit. I can do what I want to do because nobody's paying attention because they're focused about protesting and rioting. You know what I'm saying? So the looters are coming in and cleaning up and looters are going through and they, 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 especially in Atlanta, they hit Icebox. They hit Lenox Mall, hit the Gucci store, like <laughs> Atlanta. Honestly, from the looks of it, out of all of the places that I've seen people protesting and rioting, uh, and from Louisville to New York to Minneapolis to um, Chicago to uh, I think in Phoenix, uh, Oakland, all those places, at all those places, I take that back. I didn't see anything really out of Phoenix yet, but. Between Oakland and Atlanta, it looks like they have t- taken the route of, yeah, we going to protest some shit, but we about to steal some shit, too. But it is what it is because, yeah, they're protesters and it's turned into a riot, but sometimes rioting is the answer. Like when the peaceful shit has ran its course and it ain't working no more, what do you want us to do? You know what I'm saying? What do you want them to do, bro? Like when Kaepernick was kneeling, y'all was like, whoa, 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 buddy. Find a different way. You can't kneel. Like that's, I don't know what you're doing. You can't kneel. That's not, that's not peaceful enough. And it's like, damn, okay. So we can't peacefully protest. So y'all leave us no other option. So maybe if we riot, we'll get y'all attention. Niggas start fucking shit up. And then it's like, oh, no. Hey, hey, hey. why can't you all just be- protest peacefully? 
So it's like, hmm. When we protest peacefully, they tell us that's not the answer. And then when we riot, they tell us that's not the answer. So honestly, nobody knows what the answer is. So, in my opinion, you leave people no choice. I don't I don't agree with what's going on and I don't disagree with what's going on because I see that it's hit his it's hit his tipping point. It's hit his tipping point. I mean when you get so mad to the point to where you feel like I have no choice. You feel what I'm saying? Like it's 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 it has that feel like we have no other choice. Like they're in Washington DC Protesters are banging with the civil, uh, I'm not civil service, but they're banging with the secret service. Like they fighting over barricade gates and shit. Like it's, it's wicked. Like it's getting to that point. Like I don't, I don't think that they're going to get into the White House. Uh, but if they were, oh boy. <laughs> if they get into the White House, man. It's gonna be a movie. Literally, it's real. It's honestly, it's gonna turn into a movie in probably about like ten years, ten fifteen years. Uh, but yeah, like like the country, the country is is has been it was shaken um, by the death of George Floyd. It started honestly. It started with the Ahmaud Arbery situation. Even though he was he was killed, I think it happened in February, and then Corona happened, and it, it, like the footage came out recently, and then it kind of re sparked it. So it started with Ahmad Arbery, then it went to Breonna Taylor, and then it hit um, George Floyd, and this happened in all like three different parts of the country. Three different parts of the country. You got. All, Ahmad in, in Atlanta, Brianna up here in Louisville, in Kentucky, and then you got George Floyd. He was from Houston. He was from Houston. You feel me? So he 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 was the the, the Texas community is hurt too. So he's from Houston, but he lived up there in Minnesota and up there in Minneapolis, and bro was killed over a. Supposedly he was forging a bad check or some shit, but the check ended up not being bad. Like it's like dog, this he died for nothing, bro. Like the cops came, like I seen beginning, but I seen the beginning of like the footage. I, I couldn't watch it all because I, I already saw the ending. But I seen where they they grab they they taking Buddy out the car. He hand, he gets handcuffed. He gets put up against the building of the uh, uh, I guess I think it's the grocery store where they put him against the building at. He's sitting on the ground. Then they come over. They pick him up all aggressive. And, like, and it's just like, bro, like the fact that I already know the ending. I don't want to watch this because I know the outcome. And it's some bullshit, bro. But, man. Honestly. I don't know what's next. Usually I got a good answer for shit like this, but. I don't, I don't know what's next. Like, I feel like, I feel like you know, you gotta move a plan. You gotta put a plan in action. At least set up a plan so you can put it in action. Formulate together. Everybody doesn't have to be on the same page, but everybody kind of has to be on the same accord. You feel what I'm saying? Everybody has to be on the same accord because. There was a police officer tonight who got separated from his group of officers that he was with, I guess. And protesters were stopping other protesters from hurting him. You dig what I'm saying? That right there is a divide in itself. Because because you got a large group of people who they're moving as the... They're moving together, but they're not moving as one. See, the police are there. They're moving as one. All the police have the same agenda. They all, well, not personal agenda, but they got the same overall agenda. They know this is what we came here to do. 
this happens this is how we will react they have a plan like it's it is it is it is strategic warfare if they do this we do this if they do this we do this with the with this large group of protesters and rioters th- th- there is really no accord you might have a few people a few groups within that have moved a certain way and like i said when that cop gets separated a group of people hey they protect hey they put a little shield around them Hey, y'all niggas relax. R- relax. Ain't no relax. Like nobody's gonna he ain't he ain't do nothing to hurt none of us. We he ain't get aggressive and violent. We like calm it down. You dig know what I'm saying? But they're not on the same they're not on the same accord. Because that shouldn't even have, that shouldn't even have to be a conversation. That should be something that when y'all meet up before y'all start these protests, when y'all meet up at y'all little meetings. Um, I guess like thirty or forty five minutes or hour before everybody goes to the you know to the to the to the main location when y'all meet up, that should be part of the discussion. That should not have to be a conversation. And maybe it was. I don't know. Like I said, I'm not there. Maybe it was, but you just gotta make sure everybody gets the memo because all it takes is one person. All it takes is one person, two people, three people to act out of to act out of character, to get out of body and get besides themselves and do some nut shit. And now what was potentially a peaceful situation has begun to turn violent. And like I said, I don't know who started what. I don't know who got violent and aggressive first. I don't know if the police did. I don't know if the protesters did. I don't know. Because like I said, I'm. I'm not there. I'm just going off what I've seen and the lives and stuff or whatever. And uh, most people are saying that the police did. But the same thing goes for them. Same thing goes for them. You know what I'm saying? Like, like if they don't want the protesters to get out of hand, then don't do anything to make them get out of hand. Like, don't start shooting them with rubber bullets. Don't start throwing tear gas at them. Like, don't mace nobody. Don't push nobody. Like, like okay, they have they have the right to be angry, bro. You have to un- like you are a civil servant. That's that's the one thing that I think that police officers in uniform got shit fucked up. Uh, you niggas are civil servants. Like you are sworn to protect and serve thy civilian. You feel me? So honestly, in all honesty, y'all are supposed to listen to us. If you want to get down to it for real. That's why I went old girl at Central Park when she was calling the cops on, bro. Y'all are supposed to listen to us. Now, I'm not saying that she's supposed to be able to call and say, hey, come kill this black dude because he's bothering me in this park because he told me to put my dog on a leash. I ain't saying that. But what I'm saying is overall, like we're like we're y'all boss. Indirectly, like y'all are supposed to li- y'all are civil servants. Y'all are supposed to listen to us. bro. So we have the right to be mad. We have the right to yell and scream in your face like you ain't gonna, they're not touching you but don't get mad at a protester because they motherfucker y'all doing xyz and they in your grill yeah you want to know why because you work for us you are a civil servant that's your job you chose that job it is your duty so yeah people got the right to do that if they want to yell and scream in your face they get to yell and scream in your face now i'm not telling nobody how to react if you if you a cop and that's how you want to react cool but understand that when you react that way and it's a large group of hostile individuals already you just can't push them and think that they're not going to try to push you back now it becomes a fight. Now it goes from being a peaceful protest to now it's a riot. And that's when shit gets out of hand. So everybody holding their composures, just don't go for the protesters. It goes for the police too, man. It goes for them too. You feel what I'm saying? So I'm I'm not I'm not 
like I said, I'm not there. So there's only so much I can talk about it. Only so much I can indulge into it, man. But all I can say, man, I just hope everybody is safe. Um, be smart, man. Be smart. Be aware. Don't, don't like, don't make yourself an easy target. You know what I'm saying? Protect yourself. If you out here, you doing your thing, man, keep your face covered. Make sure you ain't, uh, uh, just make sure you're not, you're not, you're not leaving no loose ends, whatever it is that you're doing for them to possibly come, come back on you, you know, in a month or two, once things kind of die down with the, with warrants and stuff. Cause I, I've heard that that's what they do with protesters. You know what I'm saying? They, they, they get their identity and then they run them down in a couple months with the warrant and all this other shit. So man, if you, if you out here and you, and you one of the people, you in the trenches, you on the front line and you, you active, you know what I'm saying? You leading the, you know what I'm saying? The, uh, I guess I would say the charge, you know what I'm saying? Protect yourself at all times, man. Protect yourself at all times, man. Keep your head on a swivel. Uh, you know what I'm saying? But at the end of the day, man, don't don't lose focus on on the objective, man. And, then, uh, and, and the objective right now is to get justice for Breonna Taylor. Um it's to get justice for George Floyd. It's to get justice for Maude Arbery. It's to get justice for everybody, bro. It's so many, man. It's so, so many of us that they have killed over the past years. And it's probably, it's really, it's been going on forever. It's been going on forever. But with social media, man, it's just... We see it more, and I like what Killer Killer. I don't like what he said, but Killer Mike said, and it was like, wow, that's that's true, bro. It's it's, it's murder porn. It's murder porn, bro. We we literally watch. It's a video circulating right now on the internet of George Floyd dying, dying, bro. He's taking his last breaths on camera. Cause he got a knee on his neck for nine minutes. Nine whole minutes, bro. It's on the internet. Like he euthanized a human being. That's it, man. That's all I got for this episode. Uh, I wish I could have talked about something else. Honestly. Honestly, I really wish I could, but it just don't work like that sometimes, man. Sometimes you gotta talk about the bullshit, sometimes you gotta talk about the bad shit, man. But episode man y'all be safe I'm out peace 50 young niggas selling crack for a living trying to buy beers in a flat television single income any time of the feeling mama I'm a man got a short any minute Show him that he get it Watch a good little boy turn into a cold nigga He ready to die just to show him that he with it So we put it on his mind, gotta get it how you living One shot got life, Zimmerman gotta quit it Talk about a car jack and we talk about a kid